A man awaiting trial for a D.C. homicide is now facing new charges of attempted murder in Maryland after two shootings in Prince George's County. They happened one day after prosecutors in D.C. argue the suspect should be held in jail. Lili Zhang on top of this one for us. She joins us now with the latest. Lili? Well, there's a lot going on with this one. Today, a detainer was issued for the suspect here in D.C. courts. What that means is if or when he's released from Prince George's County, he would be transferred to D.C. jail, and that is where he would remain as his case here in D.C. plays out. We did have the opportunity to meet with the next of kin uh, in connection with the D.C. case and assured them we were putting forth our very best efforts to ensure that Mr. Thomas was held without bond. Now, that D.C. case goes back to January 2022. That is when police say the suspect, Gerald Andre Thomas, shot and killed Dasha Cleary at the Days Inn Hotel on Connecticut Avenue. The shooting also injured at least four other people. The U.S. Attorney's Office says they originally asked the court to hold Thomas pending trial, but he was released by the court in April 2022 after a preliminary hearing. The office says their request to hold him in detention every time he was rearrested after that hearing were denied, including a hearing last week, just one day before police in Maryland say Thomas shot into two homes. One of them was a home in Bowie, where people inside range from a four-month-old baby to a 74-year-old. This week, he was ordered in Prince George's County to be held without bond. He doesn't know who's behind the doors or the windows that he's shooting out. Um, there could be multiple people there. We have had cases where people have gotten shot through a window and died. So he is fortunate that that did not happen in this case. My concern is that it appears that he didn't care. Didn't care. So, and we have places for people who don't care. Now, we did ask why the government's requests for him to be held were all denied. We were told by a D.C. court spokesperson that there are different statutes and laws in place that essentially say the judge has to consider a lot from the nature of the crime, the circumstances, as well as the strength of the government's evidence. As for an attorney for the suspect, we were not given a callback for comment. We'll send it back to you all.